All right, in this next lesson, we are going to learn how a uh, fan relay controls the circuit. We're also going to learn about the state. We'll talk about the state of this schematic diagram. And we'll start to learn how to develop a very simple schematic diagram. And by develop, I mean to learn how to read it, use it as a roadmap to see how the circuit should be operating. So let's break this down. First of all, well, let's talk about the state of a schematic diagram. All schematic diagrams that you will look at in the equipment is, is in the following condition. The, there's voltage applied, like it is right here. The, all of the circuits are designated in the resting state. So picture this. You have your air conditioning at your house. The thermostat is set to 72 in cooling and it's 69 degrees in your house. That That is the your system at its resting state. There's power applied. Everything is is operational but it is not operating because it is not turned on and calling for cooling. And every schematic diagram that you look at, on every piece of equipment that you look at, is going to be in that state. Power applied, nothing operating, and it's in its resting state. So let's look at this schematic diagram. The power is applied. We have 115 volts, so I'm going to set that arbitrarily. 115 volts power is applied. The thermostat is open, so it's not going to, nothing is operating at this time. The fan motor is off, and we'll trace this out in a bit, and the fan off light is on. So this is the state of the schematic diagram with the circuit at rest. So we have 115 volts comes in, comes to the fan relay, normally open contact, and it cannot pass through because this is open. Comes up here to the fan relay, normally closed contact, so that's a straight wire. Powers up the light. And the light is on. So that is the resting state. So if you went up to this circuit, looked at the schematic diagram, and the fan off light is glowing, fan motor's not running, this is what it looks like on the schematic diagram. So now we have our temperature controlled switch, which is, which is the thermostat. This is going to close on temperature rise. Remember, bimetal strip here, this heats up and it expands, and it's going to close this switch. Every schematic diagram, you're going to have to do this in your head. So it closes this switch. It applies power to the fan relay coil, which creates a magnetic field to switch the electronically controlled, electrically controlled switch. So when the thermostat closes and the fan relay coil gets power, the magnetic field is going to close the normally open contact. Then it, that's going to make it cl a closed contact. Let's do that one more time. It's going to be closed. The normally closed contact is going to open, so it's going to look like this in the red. We now have power comes through this closed contact to the fan motor. Fan motor is operational. We have power that comes up here to the fan relay. Normally closed contact, which is now open because this fan relay is energized. And the fan off light is now off. Does that make sense? So look at this again. So picture this, try and picture this in your house. You have a 
a fan off light on your system. So when the thermostat is not closed and the fan is off, the light is on. Then you close the thermostat, the fan motor runs, and the fan light goes off. That is how you control a simple circuit with a fan control relay or any type of relay itself. It can be any type of load. The next lesson we will break this down into a, a real schematic and some real life uh, schematic diagram situation.